friends welcome again now let us prepare simplex table 2 for the problem which we are trying to solve through simplex method we have already prepared simplex table 1 in the earlier lecture the row of r2 is key row the column of y is key column 4 is key element first we have to write a row in the new table at the place of key row so at the place of r2 in order r4 comes we have to write r4 first and the formula of r4 is key row divided by key element r2 divided by 4 or 1/4 of r2 that will be our r4 3 divided by 4 that is 3 by 4 4 divided by 4 is 1 0 divided by 4 is 0, 1 divided by 4 is 1 by 4, 16 divided by 4 is 4. So this is our R4. Now we can write R3. Any row other than the key row, the formula will be old row R1 minus sign the element in the key column that is 1 into this new replaced row R4. So ultimately, R3 is R3 is R1 minus R4. Anything multiplied by one remains the same. R1 minus R4. R1 minus R4. Here R1 is two minus R4 is three by four. So it comes to five by four. R1 one. Minus R four one minus one that is zero. R one one minus R four zero so it remains one. R one is zero minus R four is one by four here so minus one by four. R one that is six minus R four that is four here so two. now first we have to write the solution variables there will be no change in the solution variable in a row other than the key row so s1 will be as it is at its place but r2 was key row its variable will be dropped s2 is dropped and the variable of key column will take its place so we have to write y here now since s1 is here its coefficient from z function is 0 y its coefficient is 20 in the z function so 20 now only we can write z j values 0 into 5 by 4 it remains 0 plus 20 into 3 by 4 20 into 3 60 divided by 4 is 15 5 in, 0 into 5 by 4 0 plus 15 So fifteen. Zero into zero zero twenty into one twenty. Zero into one zero twenty into zero zero. Zero into minus one by four zero twenty into one by four five. Zero into two zero twenty into four eighty. Now we can write delta J values. C J minus Zj, Cj minus Zj, six minus fifteen minus nine, twenty minus twenty zero, zero minus zero zero, zero minus five minus five. All the delta values are zero or negative. Our objective is maximization. In case of maximization, if all delta values are zero or negative, then this is the optimal solution. so in the simplex table number 2 or at the end of simplex table 2 we have already reached the optimal solution our optimal solution at this stage is y equals to 4 since x has not entered the column of solution variable the value of x in the optimal solution is 0 so the optimal solution according to this table is x equals to zero, y equals to four. Z is originally six x. That means six into zero plus twenty y. 
20 into 4 plus 0 s1 0 s2 so 0 plus 248 so ultimately it comes to 0 plus 80 plus 248 328 but we know that this one is not our original problem this is our revised problem the original problem was with two variables x1 and x2 and at their say place we substituted x1 equals to 8 plus x and x2 equals to 10 plus y. So it is necessary to find the solution of the original variables x1 and x2. x1 was 8 plus x therefore x1 is here 8 plus 0 therefore x1 in the optimal solution of the original problem comes to 8 x2 was 10 plus y that is 10 plus 4 so x2 is 14 the original z was the original z was 6 x1 plus 20 x2 6 x1 plus 20 x2 that is 6 into 8 plus 20 into 14 48 plus 280 so the maximum z is 328 hence now we can say that the optimal solution of the original problem having x1 and x2 as variables is x1 equals to 8, x2 equals to 14 and since this is maximization problem z value should be considered at its maximum possible value and that comes to 328. I hope you would have enjoyed the entire process of solving the problem. Thank you very much.